Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install just enough items in Minecraft 1.16.1. We're going to be going over every single step of getting the Just Enough Items or JEI mod downloaded, installed, and set up from basically you know downloading it and getting it installed to actually downloading and installing Forge because you need Forge to install Just Enough Items. It's all going to be covered in this video every single step. First and foremost though we do have a smart sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex get an incredible 24-hour DNOS productive Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking to start a Minecraft server of your very own, check out Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing we want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is actually our text tutorial for installing just enough items. Some people say I go too fast in videos. I get it, but because of that, we produce these text tutorials for a lot of our, you know, videos and that way you can go through them if I go too fast. If that's the case and you want to take it at a slower pace, you can go through this tutorial here. However, if you're going through the video tutorial, go ahead and click on this yellow download just enough items button. That'll take you off to the official JEI or Just Enough Items download page where I can tell you a little bit about what Just Enough Items does. This mod will allow you to see everything in Minecraft as far as blocks go and be able to see what the recipes are by clicking in on them. For example, you've got the sponge here. If you could craft a sponge, you could click on the sponge and it'll tell you what you did. For the glass, specifically, you can click on the glass and it'll show, hey, to make glass, put you know, sand in a furnace, that sort of a thing. And it's really, really cool and it's really, really helpful whenever you're wanting to, you know, try to figure out a crafting recipe, especially for mods. So if you're running other mods like Iron Chest or anything, like Tinker's Construct, whatever the mod you are running is, and you want to know the crafting recipes for that mod, they work with just enough items. So you can just go in there, click on the item you want, and it'll tell you exactly how to make it. So that is really, really cool. Um, as you can see, there are some basic controls here and think basically how things work, different item list controls, all sorts of that stuff, but pretty much it's mostly click, you know, clicking around and things of that nature, so nothing too complicated. Nevertheless, to get this mod, you want to come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16, and then under that, you'll see JEI-1.16, and then click the purple download button to the right of that. It'll then go ahead, take us off to the page where after a few seconds, your download will begin automatically in the bottom left on Google Chrome and in the center of your screen on most of the Firefox. So down here in the bottom left, we have JEI-1.16.1. That's perfectly safe to keep that file. And on most of the Firefox, it'll pop in the center of your screen and say, download, you know, are you sure you want to save this file? And as long as it has JEI in the title, you are safe to save it. Now we can go ahead and move over to Forge. Now, this is our text tutorial. By the way, this is the third link down below. Go down there, come to this page, and we'll, this is basically our video tutorial for Forge up here. This is our text tutorial down here. Again, if, if we go too fast in this, you can go through this. However, if you do have any issues with the Forge, this text tutorial and this video are going to help you out a lot more than we are going to here. This video is focused on just enough items, right? It's not necessarily focused on any potential Forge issues you may have. There are some we're going to cover, but some of the more minute Forge issues aren't going to be covered in this video because, well, it's dedicated to just enough items. So if you do have trouble installing Forge via this video, go check out a tutorial here. But nevertheless, click on the third link down below. It will take you here. But you want to click on this green Download Forge button. That'll take you off to Forge's official website here where you want to make sure 1.16.1 is selected. To do that, it would say MC 1.16.1 here, so it's not selected. What you want to do is come over to the left-hand side, click on plus 1.16, and then click on 1.16.1. Then, once you see MC 1.16.1 here, come under Download Latest and click on the Installer button. That will then take us off to Add Focus, where stop! Don't click a single thing on this page. Your download is not ready. It is lying to you. The only thing that you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. Do not click anything below this basically black bar at the top that says forge and specifically don't click anything other than that red skip button over on the top right hand side over here this red skip button that'll appear after six seconds so if it doesn't appear right away just wait six seconds and it'll appear up here in the top right and then click on that red skip button and then in the bottom left forge will download as you can see rss forge-1.16.1 yours should say that as well and if it does go ahead and click keep if it doesn't click discard and click that red skip button to download forge it'll again down on the bottom left it says forge keep the file mozilla firefox same thing save the file in the center of your screen however it'll pop up after you click the red skip button do not click anything in the center of the page until after you click the red skip button and it pops up and says are you sure you want to save this file nevertheless we can now go ahead and minimize our browser and here on our desktop we have forge and just enough items as you can see here's forge here's jei also known as just enough items we're actually going to be starting off with forge however before we do that i want to say if these don't look correct right for example if these don't look like mine they don't look like this coffee cup java logo i'm going to show you how to fix that just stick with us for one second so anyway we're going to start off with forge here right click on forge click on open with and then click on java and click ok now if you don't have java or if like i said these don't look like these java icons here 
what do you do? Well, you go to the description down below and go to this tutorial. This is our tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Just enough item, being a Minecraft mod, you're going to need this version of Java. It's a very, very simple process, a quick three-step process here to make sure you get the correct version of Java installed. And once you do that, you can continue on and you should be able to open up Forge. But if you can't, or if you install Java and your icons still don't look like the Java logo, no worries, you need to run the jar fix. And what this is gonna do is take the jar files from your computer and make them work with Java once again, basically linking them back up and linking them back together so anyway that's gonna make all that work make everything look perfect and and happy together so awesome stuff there so we'll go here download the jar fix if installing Java doesn't work finally though you'll be able to right click on forge click on open with this time you'll have Java it might not be Java TM platform SE binary but you have some form of Java here click on that and then click OK that will then open up the mod system installer for forge where all you want to do is click on install client and click OK then Forge will go ahead and download and do its thing and install and set up and all that awesome stuff that it needs to do to work in Minecraft 1.16.1. So go ahead, give it a second. It is now building processors, which is kind of the last step that takes forever and always says it's complete when it's not actually complete. There we go. Successfully installed Client Profile Forge version 1.16.1. We are good to go. We can go ahead and click OK here. That's going to close out of that mod system installer. And finally, we can install just enough items. By the way, you can go ahead and delete Forge from your desktop. If it won't let you do that, go ahead open up Minecraft, you can basically continue on with this tutorial, and then you can delete it after you close out of Minecraft later on. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. So we're going to open up the Minecraft launcher here. Now on the bottom left of Minecraft, you should have this Forge profile by clicking on this little arrow. See that little arrow there? Click on that, and you should have a Forge profile. If you do, go ahead and click on it and click play. But if you don't have a Forge profile, here's what you do. You click on the Installations tab, and then once you click on the Installations tab, click on this plus new button here, and then you can name this whatever you want. However, I'm going to name it play.breakdown craft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft 1.16.1 survival server. We've also got custom factions, custom skyblock survival has medieval survival with 30 custom quests and a player based economy and aquatic survival has a slash shop based economy with MCMO jobs. It's incredible. And then we do have custom skyblock with new skyblock updates coming very very soon and factions season two was just released so come play with this on play.breakdowncraft.com it is incredible you will love it whether you're looking for factions skyblock or survival it's all amazing nevertheless let's go ahead and click on this version drop down here after you've entered your name so click on this version drop down and then you want to find release 1.16.1 dash forge now i've got multiple ones like i do always go with the one at the top however if yours isn't right up here at the top scroll down until you find it it might be down a ways depending on when you're watching this video and in some cases it's actually at the very very bottom of the versions list so don't be afraid to scroll all the way down there but nevertheless mine is right up here let's go ahead and click on that I'm gonna change my resolution you don't need to change your resolution but it is one of those things where I need to change it so you all can see because we're making a video here but nevertheless once you've changed your version there that's the most important part to release 1.16.1-forge go ahead and click create and then down here at the bottom we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile it's x 1.16.1-forge under it so we can go ahead and click on that green play button now Minecraft is going to open up with Forge installed. Now we're not done. We still need to install just enough items, right? That's kind of why we're all here. So let's go ahead, let this open up. As you can see, the Forge mod loader early uploading process is going on. Once this is finished, it'll open up with like kind of the Minecraft Mojang Studios preloader that we have come to like experience now and, and use in 1.16.1. I remember when this said Minecraft, everyone, like this little thing. And, and I feel like those were, the, those were the good old days. Now it says Mojang Studios. And to me, that's sad. That's sad. I don't know. I, I, miss, I miss it saying Minecraft here. But nevertheless, once we are on the Minecraft main menu, right like so, we can go ahead and click on this Mods button here, right? This Mods button on the main menu. When you click on that, you want to click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. So just click on Open Mods folder there. And then that'll open up, well, your Mods folder. Now to install just enough items, all we need to do is take it from our desktop and drag and drop it into this Mods folder. Yep, take it from your desktop, drag and drop it into the Mods folder, and you're good to go. Now if you close out of the Mods folder, it's not going to be in Minecraft. You can click Done, you can click on Mods. It's not going to be here. It's never going to show up until you quit the game, open up the Minecraft launcher again, right like so, and then go ahead and make sure that profile is selected. Either it's the Forge profile or the one that you created. Either way, it should say 1.16.1-Forge under it. And this time, click play again. Now, in the opening up process here, this Forge mod loader early loading process, you'll be able to see three mod files and just enough items, right? So jei one16 That means that Forge has recognized the jar file. It's there. The mod's there. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to open up, right? Like you could have a bug that could stop it from opening up from this point, but I, I know this is going to work. But nevertheless, <laughs> it's basically now registering the mod, installing it in Minecraft, and opening up Minecraft with it. Now we're going to jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, playinourbreakdowncraft.com, to check out just enough items. 
So once we are loaded into the main menu here, we will jump onto the server and check it out. So if we click on the mods tab here, we'll be able to see there's just enough items, it's installed. And just to prove it, it's working in game, that's fine. We can go ahead and click on play.breakdowncraft.com and jump right on into it. So here we are joining world and boom, we are currently in medieval survival, specifically on our medieval Asgard server. So you can see 181 people online playing right now. Absolutely incredible. But nevertheless, if we go ahead and hit E, there is all of the just enough items stuff. So we can click on spruce planks. We can see that. Want to see how to craft oak stairs? There we go. Black stained glass. There we go. But how do you craft glass? Well, that's how. There's all sorts of different stuff in here and even these new nether blocks, right? How do you make like nether gold ore? Well, you can't. How do you get a warped stem? You can't. But let's see if we can find maybe something made from one of these, maybe something made from a work stem or something like that. I will, we'll be able to see how you can make it. So yeah, it seems like none of these, I'm trying to find like something made from these new blocks and I can't find anything, which is kind of a fail. But nevertheless, that is still all there. All the new blocks are listed here. And like I said, if you install any mods, they will work. So let's see here. These are all pretty new, I think. You know, all these sandstone walls and things of that nature blackstone brick wall that's new so awesome stuff like that you can see how to make all these different things in minecraft 1.16.1 how, how would you make a diorite wall that's just sad but nevertheless that is how you can do it that is how you can get just enough items and that's everything just enough items does so we go ahead and do slash rtp on breakdown craft this isn't anything to do with the server that's just a random teleport and i quickly grab a chest doing a, a little test here or not a chest sorry a crafting table we can place this crafting table down, and if we get some wooden planks, all right, like so. So we go ahead and grab some planks. I don't know why I thought I could just do wooden planks, and then click on this, and then let's say we wanted to make this oak door here. We could click on this plus button, and if we weren't on the server, it would move the items in here into the crafting table, right? So let me go ahead, I'll quickly do a quick jump cut onto a single player world to show you how that works. So here we are in a single player world. We again have some planks, right? So let's go ahead and come down here and search for a wooden door, or sorry, oak door here. So we've got oak door, there it is. And then we click on this plus button and it works automatically. And that doesn't work on the server because of how anti-cheats work and things of that nature. So that's why that doesn't work on our server. But nevertheless, here it is. You can see right here, just enough items, loads in the three oak doors. It works with everything though. So for example, if you wanted to make something else like these dark oak stairs, or well, it's not gonna happen, we don't have dark oak, but if we wanted to make a normal oak stairs, which oddly enough don't seem to be here. So if we wanna make normal oak stairs, we can go ahead and click the plus, boom, it makes the stairs right like so. Now I'm pretty sure if you shift click on the move items, yes, if you shift click on the move items, it's gonna use all the items in your inventory to add them in there. As you can see, this time it's not making one, it's making eight. If we switch to doors, we can make eight doors, or well, that many doors there. So yeah, that's pretty much how you can do that. That is how you can create, let's make 10 boats, because why not? That is how you can, um, and that's how you can download and install just enough items in Minecraft 1.16.1 and how you can use some of the features of just enough items. There's also this setting down here in the bottom right, the JEI config. If you click on that, you're going to be able to make some changes. However, it seems like that's kind of bugged out right now. This did just come out today after all, so give it some slack. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. Be sure to come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Again, great protective survival, custom skyblock, amazing custom factions. Come play with us. 188 people online on a random Tuesday. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I will see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.